Today is announcement day and we couldn't be more excited. Arrowhead's model is directed at a market that has not seen an accurate, state-of-the-art model in many decades. It features design details that have never previously been seen in the industry. It is garnering praise from noted freight car historians such as Extraordinary and published reviews that state that it may be the nicest freight car of its type ever produced. So without further ado, I am proud to announce the HO Scale Committee Design Hopper. In the 1950s, the Pennsylvania Railway, Chesapeake and Ohio, and Norfolk and Western collaborated on the design of a 70-ton hopper. This became known as the Committee Design Hopper, and in total, 17,500 cars were produced. It was owned by both Eastern and Western railroads in various iterations, and it makes this one of the most important, most relevant freight car announcements, period. The Pennsylvania Railroad built its first committee design hopper in its Holidaysburg shops in September of 1958. It and subsequent classes were designated the H39, H39A, and H39B. In total, the Pennsylvania rostered 16,133 committee design cars. These cars were so abundant that by the time they made it onto Conrail's roster, Conrail temporarily abandoned its attempts to standardize with 100-ton cars. The car is an inescapable fact of Eastern railroading from the 1960s through the 1990s, and beyond that, many continued in secondary roles or company service. The committee design hopper was the most prominent 70-ton hopper on the Denver and Rio Grande Western. It comprised 44% of the railroad's total 70-ton hopper fleet. From when the first lot was acquired in 1960, the Rio Grande never looked back, both in terms of the committee design and its builder, Bethlehem Steel Company. From here forward, every new HTAAR class car that the Rio Grande acquired was from Bethlehem. And every new 70-ton HT class car that the Rio Grande acquired was of the committee design. Even the Rio Grande's massive great steel fleet of Bethlehem 3483 hoppers is a 100-ton derivation of the committee design. In fact, it seems self-evident that nothing did more to influence the characteristics of the Rio Grande fleet of open hoppers than the design decisions made between the Pennsylvania, Chesapeake and Ohio, and Norfolk and Western in 1957. In June of 1966, the original Norfolk Southern purchased 70 committee design hoppers from Bethlehem Car Company. In 1974, the Southern Railway acquired the Norfolk Southern's committee design cars when the Southern acquired the NS. These cars were repainted into Southern's sharp Claytor lettering scheme and rolled into its massive fleet of steel three-bay hoppers. In 1982, the Southern Railway merged with the Norfolk Southern, and the 57 cars that remained on the roster were of the owner, Norfolk Southern, once again. Arrowhead Models Committee Design Hopper consists of two distinct sets of body tooling to accurately match the distinct body variations of the Pullman Standard and Bethlehem Steel cars. This, in combination with a matrix of unique detail parts, means that Arrowhead Models Committee Design Announcement is really the announcement of two all-new freight cars from the point of view of tooling and product development. The differences between the Pullman Standard and Bethlehem Car Committee Design Hoppers includes four-piece 1955 Apex or three-piece 1942 minor handbrakes, two-piece Keystone monolock hopper door locks or three-piece wine double door locks, wine or Keystone hopper frames, Keystone or wine gate doors, superior or inferior retaining valve mount locations, riveted or welded superior bolster plates, two underframes to account for accurate variations of slack adjusters, four variations of brake levers, brake rods and brake rod hanger locations, ASF solid bearing or ASF 70-ton roller bearing trucks, Bethlehem or Pullman styles of defect card holder, top cord stiffener on Bethlehem steel versions, 
Pullman and Bethlehem variations of valve rods and release valve lines. Arrowhead's committee design hopper also includes features such as KD58 scale couplers, carefully crafted loads with prototypical asymmetry, wire retaining valve lines, wire retaining and release valve rods, wire air reservoir, brake cylinder, and ABD valve lines. Arrowhead's committee design hopper utilizes brass parts and applications where injection molding is weak to give the same fidelity. For example, brass broke steel mounting platforms for the brake cylinder and ABD valve, brass hopper frame angle braces, slack adjuster guards. Our four-piece Ajax 1955 handbrakes feature separate pieces for the handbrake housing, internal gears, chains, and rods, accurate Ajax 1955 era brake wheel, and an Ajax handbrake release lever. We think that it's important to note that we're not just counting parts. More parts doesn't mean better cars. However, there are constraints in the injection molding process such that one cannot produce faithful part morphology without separating the geometry into smaller pieces. By pointing to part count, what we are really saying is we are sensitive to details, even minute details, and as a result, we have produced the most faithfully rendered parts ever seen in our industry, bar none. So Arrowhead's Ajax handbrake housing has dimensional accurate offsets and subtle curves. And when we mention that we have a three-piece air reservoir, what we are really saying is that the bolt heads look like bolt heads, and the medial flange has accurate concentric profiles. And as all these things are true for our 1955 Apex handbrake and air reservoir, it is also true for our three-piece minor 1942 handbrake, two-piece keystone monolock hopper door locks, three-piece wine double door locks, two-piece ABD valve with wire valve lines, three-piece scale draft boxes with accurate key, shank, plate, and bolt details. It is the case for all aspects of the model design, from how the rib contours are press broke and rolled underneath the top cord, to the way the rib flanges flare at the superior and inferior extremities. From the keyhole feature on the superior face of the draft box, to the inferior seal gussets that have rivets and dimensionally accurate contoured surfaces. And we don't just stop there. We did it again, and again, and again. To learn more about Arrowhead Models Committee Design Hopper, visit our website, or read my article in the Rio Grande Historical Society publication, The Prospector. Also, reviews are upcoming in Model Railroad News and Model Railroad Craftsman. Arrowhead Models Committee Design Hopper is available now at arrowheadmodels.com. Log on and buy.